Today's chapter of today is unit operation. In this chapter, first we will be study about the point mixing. In a pharmaceutical processing, mixing involves certain heterozygous component which can be easily converted into the more homozygous with the help of some of the manipulated with the inert. Some of the definition for the mixing it is the it is the operation in which the two or more components which can be separated roughly mixed condition or which can be treated so that each particle lies as near as possible in the content with the particle each to another ingredients by which we can be able to mix the component very much easily some of the objectives for the mixing are one of the main important aim of the mixing is to ensure that there is uniformity of composition in between the mixed products means it can be solid liquid or semi solid any type and that can be represented over a composition of the mixture one of the primary objective of this mixing is to make homogeneous product using the minimum amount of energy and time and some of the another objectives for the mixing are first is to ensure produce the single physical mixture means this can be uh, simply uh, the production and the blend of two or more miscellable liquids or semi solids or or the two or more uniform divided solids means which can be any a mixture of any type of any uh, uh, or the blend of any type of the liquid solid semi solid etc by which we can be form the one type of the mixture second is to produce the physical dose changes means mixing can be performed by producing single as well as the chemical changes for example we can take a solution of the soluble substance here the soluble substance means any other substance which can be soluble in any type of the solution in such case lower efficiency of mixing is often accepted because the mixing merely accepts the solution and the dissolution process that could be occurred by simple aggregation third point is to produce the stable dispersion the mixing is also aimed to include dispersion of two miscellable liquids to perform an uh, emulsion or a dispersion of the solid in liquid to give a suspension or it is also a paste usually a good mixture is required to ensure the stability and the effectiveness the fourth is to promote the chemical reaction means mixing increases the and control a chemical reaction also mixing ensures the uniform product such as the reaction with the accurate adjustment to the ph which is required the degree of mixing decide the possibility of the reactions these are the mainly objectives of the mixing double clone blender in this mixing it is the one of the common process step in which we can be able to manufacture the product for the industry such as the healthcare food chemical cosmetic detergents also and this double clone blender is used to produce the homogeneous solid solid mixture this double clone blender is efficient and versatile mixer blender which provides the good product rolling and also across the mixture This can be able to help the performance mixing and also uniform blending and dearomination functions also. This contains the conical shape as the bottom ends enable uniform mixing and also easy discards. Powder loading and discards are through the separate openings. The op- principle for the double clone blender it is the This double clone blender are the most efficient used to dry blending of the free solids. The solids being blended in this blenders are been vary in bulk, density and also percentage of total mixture. This mixture being blended are constantly intermixed as the clone blender rotates. Normal blending cycle time is any a 10 minutes and can be more or less depends upon the complexity of the material which is being used or also which is been any a mixed with any or each other for example. construction for the double clone blender this double clone blender is made up of an a stainless steel and the main body part of this blender consists of the two cone shaped section wired at their bases to this central cylindrical section and the axis of a rotation is perpendicular to the cone axis and passes through the cylindrical section this driver motors at the located at the one of the two lateral support holding the blender body all the blenders are done by the argon ag process 
This is totally mirroring the polish inside and the outside of the blender. And the unit mounted at the mild steel or the stainless steel stand fitted with ball bearings. It is been available in the capacity of 20 liters to 3000 liters by which we can be blend the particles. And this conical shape at the end enables to the uniform the mixing and easy discharge of the particles. The cone it is statistical balance which protects the gear box and the motor from the axis load. This is suitable size for the butterfly valve at the one end of the cone and is the provides the material discharge and the hole with opening cover is provided at the another of the cone material for the exchanging and the cleaning of the particles. The driving arrangement consists of the motor and stainless steel buffers inside the blenders. This and your alkaline prevention include the facilities for Incorporate for the liquid spray system to introduce the liquid in the spray for the during the process. And this unit can be equipped with an automated location system for the introducing the power and also the granules into the blender body. By with the means of an a vacuum unit with the self-cleaning horns, by which we can be able to blend the particles in the double clone blender very much easily. This is the construction for the double clone blenders. This is the figure of the double clone blender which has been used for the blending of the particles. Working for the double clone blender, these are the powdery or the granule materials are fed into the double clone blenders, which can be using the vacuum intake system or the manual feedings also. This continuous rotation of the containers makes the material to move in a complex and the forceful manner to achieve the uniform mixing of the products. And this conical shape at the both ends contributes to the uniform mixing and easy discharge of the products, which depends upon the characteristics of the material or the pedal pipe pebbles or it can be provided on the shift of the better mixing, uniform blending and the deagglomerations of the products and free dust bins can be charging system ensures the minimum material holdings and these solids can be introduced into the blender to the loading apertures this and a mixing in takes place in a luxury as a result of an a powder bed moves through the different sections mixing is through the but it depends upon the rotatory speeds of the products the mixing it is the discharge through the hermetically closing butterfly wheels which is operated manually or automatically and this blenders provide the efficient mixing actions when loaded at the 50% of the volume and the efficient volume of this optimum homogeneity is 35 to 70 percentage of the gross volume of the products applications for the double clone blender a double clone blender is used for the mixing of dry powders and granules for the tablets and the capsules. It can be suitable for the dry powders to the wet mixings. And it is also used for the dry granule mixing to increase the bleach size at the bulk lubrication stage. And it has been used for the mixing the food, chemicals, cosmetic products and intermediates easy. It can be also used in the mixing of highly friable powders and the granule material with superior mixing qualities, which is are the applications for the double clone blenders. The second point from this chapter is the turbine mixer. This turbine mixer is the another type of the process aggregator, which has been used as an alternative to the propellers of mixing low viscosity liquids and typically used for the effective mixing of the medium viscosity liquids. And this viscosity velocity of the mixing using the turbine mix system is the compared to the propellers. The principles of a turbine mixer is the Turbine mixer aggregator can be create a turbulent movement of the fluids due to the combination of centrifugal and the rotational motion. And this combined motion causes the effective mixing of the low to the medium viscosity fluids. The construction for the turbine mixer is a turbine consists of the circular disc to which the number of short blades are been attached and they have been wide ranges of the turbine designs.
Plates which have been used in the urban mixer, this can be any a straight pitched curve or the disc type. And the diameter which has been any a rotate of the turbine ranges from 30 to 50 percent of the diameter of the mixer vessel. And this turbine rotates at the low speed, usually from the 50 to 200 rmp. The flat blade turbine produces the radial and the tangential flow, but the any a speed increases then the radial flow dominates. And the pleach blades which have been used in the turbine and uh, produces the axial flow. Near the implied zone of the rapid currents, high turbulence and the intense shear is being obsessed. And this shear produces the turbine can be any uh, further enhanced to using the duffer ring. And this duffer ring is the stationary um, perforated ring which can be surrounded by the turbulence. This is the construction for the turbine mixers. Working of an turbine mixer. In this, a mixer is filled through an opening at its top, and it is been usually as it is a pen or a drum within which the mixing blades removes about the vertical axis, and the vertical speed drills with an a turbine mixer wipe air into the mixer of the material, and this air in the mixer add bubbles contributing the mixing. The drop entry of the turbine mixer is fitted with the various impellers and the turbines to sit a heat and also the mass transfer in the solids. Suspension and the liquids are also take place. This any type of the mixer does not damage the products and the drop entry of the higher shear causes the uniform emulsion and the homogenization of the products. And this any a mixing blades revolves about the vertical axis. The application for the turbine mixer is it has been highly used in the chemical reaction and the extraction operations. For example, we can take as the liquid and the gas reaction. It is also used in the preparation of the emulsion, suspension and syrups. And they have been also used in the mixing high velocity liquids and semi-solids and also the paste. That's it for today guys. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up and share this video. And for more videos, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.